Hello everyone, this is Daniel from fitnessblender.com and today I'm going to be taking you through a cardio kickboxing routine. Now we're not going to do this like our traditional cardio kickboxing, we're actually going to do it just a little bit different. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine a combination of cardio kickboxing moves, so different types of punches and kicks, and combine that with a full body exercise like you'd see in one of our hit routines. And instead of doing it for a number of sets, we're going to do it for a total amount of time. So how this, how this is going to work is we've got 45 seconds on and 15 seconds off for each one. The cardio kickboxing portion as well as the full body exercise. We're just going to be moving back and forth between the two like we do in a lot of them in an A, B, A, B format. And once we've got two sets of each of those done, we move on to the next group of two and we're just going to work right down the line until we have all of them finished. Now once we're completely done with all of that, we're going to have a little bit of a core portion for you as well. So you're not going to need any equipment for this routine whatsoever, and we haven't included a warm-up or a cool-down, so you'll want to put one of those in on your own. Now, if you haven't done your warm-up yet, make sure you go ahead and hit pause and go ahead and take care of that first before we start in, because we're going to start in nice and quick and nice and intense. So go ahead and pause it and do your warm-up if you haven't already. Otherwise, we're going to start up here in just a second. Group number one is going to be a jab cross, jab cross, uppercut, uppercut for our cardio kickboxing combination. And then we're going to do a burpee T stabilization, or also known as a side burpee, for our total body exercise. All right, no slow motion on this one, just go right into it. Three, two, one, go. Just keep those motions going. Nice, quick, hard punch. Just as many combinations as you can get in in the allotted time. Keep those lungs open. Breathe as best as you can. Almost done. Three, two, and let it relax. Get those feet moving. You got 15 seconds to rest until we move in to the burpee T stabilization. So we're moving left and right on this one. Three, two, one, down, out to the side, back up to the center, jump, out to the side, jump. Try to get a nice full extension. If you need to slow down and work to hold that position, go ahead and do it. 15 seconds left. Let it relax, 15 second break. So we move back in to that kickboxing combination. Just leading with that opposite side this time. Same combination. Four, three, two, one. Jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, hook. Try to push as much effort into each one as you can. Nice quick motion. Don't fully extend your arm. And let it relax. You got one more of this burpee T stabilization or the side burpee. Try to recover as best you can. Three, two, one, start it. Out, jump, out, jump. Don't worry so much about that jump in the center. The main thing you want to focus on is 
Feeling those legs out to the side. Almost done, five seconds left. And let it relax. Keep those feet moving, keep those lungs open. Give a little bit of a short break until we start into group number two. Group number two is going to be a knee, a hook, a hook, two more knees, and then an uppercut for a cardio kickboxing combination. And then we're gonna do a thigh slap jump for our total body exercise. All right, get those feet moving, keep them moving. Got five seconds till we start. And remember, no slow motion. Two, one, start. Knee, knee, hook, hook, knee, knee, uppercut. Sorry, I already got that one wrong. It's knee, hook, hook, knee, knee, uppercut. There we go. Knee, hook, hook, knee, knee, uppercut. Just keep that motion going. 100% effort. If you mess up on the rotation, that's fine. Just try to get as much motion in there as you can. All right, keep those feet moving. I know I kind of made that one look kind of dirty. We got a nice fun one to make you forget all about it. Got five slap jumps coming up next. Five seconds. These are gonna suck. There's no way, no way out of it. Try to keep those forearms parallel to the ground, bringing those knees up to that hand, bring those hands down to that knee. As you can see, I'm already getting tired, so it's into a double hop, which is perfectly fine. If you need to slow down, if you need to take a rest, that's fine too. done. And let it relax. Keep those feet moving. Back into that cardio kickboxing combination. Over on the opposite side. See if I can make this one look a little nicer. Two, one, start it. Oh, I already forgot what we were doing here. Knee, hook, hook. Knee, knee, and uppercut. Woo, my brain's already dead. Knee, hook, hook, knee, knee, uppercut. Knee, hook, hook, knee, knee, uppercut. Nice and fast. Oh man, brain's not working. Tried to make it look a little better. I'm already nice and tired. All right, We've got thigh slap jumps coming up again. Try to keep moving. Nice, full, deep breath. Two, one. Go single bounce as long as you can. Those feet moving. Oh man. Almost done. Ah oh, man. These are one nasty exercise. Oh. And let it relax. Keep those feet moving. That was the end of group number two. Get a little bit of a break until we start number three. Group number three is going to be two ducks, an uppercut, and a jab cross for our cardio kickboxing combination. And then we're gonna do a plank to a kick through for our total body exercise. All 
All right, start right into it. You got five seconds. Two, one, start it. Duck, duck, I've got jab cross. Duck, duck, I've got jab cross. Keep those lungs open. Move as quick as you can. Almost done. Oh, keep those feet moving. Moving to a plank to kick through. Starting down on the ground in push up position. Keep those feet moving. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Start up. As you jump through, you lift one hand. So if you lift your left hand, your left foot takes its place. If you lift your right hand, your right foot takes its place. That was opposite. Don't worry about moving quickly, just worry about moving. Get back up, get those feet moving. Same thing as we did before with that kickboxing. Facing the opposite direction. Four, three, two, one. Duck, duck, uppercut, jab, cross. Duck, duck, uppercut, jab, cross. Hundred percent. I know those arms and legs are getting tired, but keep moving them. Trying to push that anaerobic threshold. And let it relax. Keep those feet moving. Got another round of that plank to kick through. Keep those lungs open. Recover as best you can. Deep, full breath. Two, one. Start them up. It's a little bit of a brain teaser on this one. Your body's gonna be trying to use its dominant side as much as it can. And let it relax. Those feet moving. Don't completely release yet. It's the end of group number three. We're starting with group number four here in just a second. Group number four is going to be a shin block, two hooks, and two uppercuts for our cardio kickboxing combination, and then we're gonna do mountain climbers for our total body exercise. All right, five seconds left. Again, start right into it. Two, one, shin block, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Shin block, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Again, keep those lungs open. Swing those arms as hard as you can. Never go to a full extension. 
Keep everything nice and tight. Everything to your core, your arms, and your legs. I know your body's screaming, we're almost done. And let it relax. Keep those feet moving. Got a nice torturous mountain climber coming up next. I hate these, so I'm sure you guys hate them too. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and start up. Just move those feet nice and quick. Lungs open. If you need to slow down, that's fine. Just make sure you're still moving. Try to keep your hips low. Oh man. These core muscles are getting tired. The legs are getting tired. Shoulders and arms as well. 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Let it relax, stand back up. Get those feet moving. Do the same exact thing for that kickboxing. It's facing the opposite direction. And start up. Shin black. Hook, hook. Uppercut, uppercut. Keep those lungs open. Push as hard as you can. I know those arms and legs are tired. I know body, that body's telling you to stop. But keep pushing. Almost done. Oh, get those feet moving. Got one more round, those mountain climbers left. Then one more group to go through. All right, last round of mountain climbers, five seconds. Three, two, one, start them up. Just keep them going as long as you can. Just try and keep those hips low, keep those feet moving. Try not to let those knees touch down. Just keep pushing through it, even though your body's telling you to stop. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. It's just gonna make you stop, stop faster. Oh, short little break. <laughs> We're almost done. Under 10 seconds. No more breaks. Three, two, one. Oh, and let it relax. Get those feet moving. We've got one more group left. Keep that energy level up, we're almost done. Group number five, our last group, is going to be a jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, plus two knees and an uppercut. That'll be our cardio kickboxing combination, and then we're gonna do a star jump for our total body exercise. Get those feet going, we got five seconds till we start. And start into it. Jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. Knee, knee, uppercut, as quick as you can. Just keep it going, this is our last one. Ah, uh, whoops. an effort. Yeah, keep them going. And let it relax, keep those feet moving. All right, we got star jumps coming up next. If you can get all the way through this without stopping, you're a lot stronger than I am. All right, five seconds till we start. Oh, this is gonna hurt. One, start him up. Let's keep those lungs open. Nice deep squat. Oh man, 
This is burning. 20 seconds left. Keep them going. Break if you need to, but keep it as short as possible. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Oh. Keep those feet moving. Got one more round of that kickboxing. Turn to the other side. Remember that combination. Four, three, two, one. Jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross. Knee, knee, uppercut. 100% effort. Doing a routine like this always gives me more respect for those ultimate fighters and boxers. It takes a lot of energy to keep the arms and legs moving for that long. Oh, keep those feet moving. Oh, got one more round of those star jumps left. Then you get a bit of a break. We get to do some core work. We're almost there. Three, two, one. Start him up. Nice deep squat. Hard jump. Keep it going. Twenty seconds left. Oh, hundred percent effort. I know those legs and arms are burning. Keep pushing through it. We're almost done. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, let it relax. Keep those feet moving just a little bit. Let that heart rate drop down slow. Keep those lungs open. That was it, that's our last one, which means all we have left is our core component. So we'll give you a little bit of a break here. And we'll start back in on the ground. So if you want, grab a mat. Otherwise, if you're on a soft surface, the ground should be just fine by itself. See you in just a second. All right, everybody, go ahead and drop down on the ground if you're not there already. We're gonna start into our core routine just to finish off those abs, obliques, and lower back. Just a little bit more compared to what we just had them go through. So, what we're gonna be doing with this one is we've got seven different exercises we're gonna go through. We're just doing one set of each one of them. We're gonna be doing one minute straight through with a 15 second break to get you ready for that next exercise. So other than that 15 seconds, you're not gonna have any extra rest to get through these seven exercises. So it should take us just a little bit over eight minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and get my timer started. We're gonna be starting off with flutter kicks. So lay flat on your back, legs extended out nice and straight. The lower you keep them, the harder it's gonna be. Hands flat against the ground, don't put them underneath your butt. Like I said, the lower you keep them down towards the ground, nice small range of motion, just about one to two feet in distance from top to bottom. The lower you are to the ground, the harder those abs are gonna have to work. As those abs start getting more and more tired, start bringing those feet up higher and higher. Keep that stomach pulled in nice and tight. Lower back pressed down towards that mat. Nice straight extended leg, keeping those thighs contracted. Over halfway, just keep them moving. Like I said, if those abs start getting too tired on you, start bringing those feet up a little bit higher. Just keep them going. Go to your happy place. Nice extended leg. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Oh, let it relax. All right, flip it over onto your stomach for our next one. We're gonna be doing a crossover back bow. Laying flat on your stomach, starting with your hands and legs tilted off to the left. 
We're gonna bring them up and across to the right. And start it up. Up and over, don't touch, hover it, and back across. This is working that lower back, that upper back, a little bit into those glutes, as well as those obliques. Let's keep it going. If you start getting too tired, you can always let those hands and feet touch down for a split second, but try to keep them hovering for as long as you can. Nice, high, tight squeeze in the center each time. Oh, that's halfway right there. Just keep it going. Keep those lungs open. 15 seconds left. Almost done. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, let it relax. All right, flip it back over. We've got windshield wipers laying flat on your back. I'm gonna do these with my knees bent, but if you want the harder version, go to a full extension on those arms, or sorry, those legs. Arms out to your sides for balance. Lay those knees off to the side. Keep those shoulders down flat against the ground. So rotate left to right. Go as far as you can without letting those shoulders come up off the ground. If you want to make it harder, kick those feet out a little bit further away from you. Just keep them going. Over halfway. Like I said, if you want it harder, extend those legs all the way out to a full extension. 15 seconds left. Tiring out those obliques just a little bit. Still engaging those core muscles, those abs and lower back. Five, four, three, two, one, and let it relax. All right, we got jackknife crunch coming up next. So full flat extension against the ground, arms and legs out. Nice full extension. Three, two, one, contract those core muscles. Lift up, crunch up towards those toes and back down. Don't let those hands or feet touch. Try to keep them hovering the entire time. If you want to make it easier, just bend those knees slightly. Well over halfway. Just keep them going. Try to keep those legs as straight as you can. Know those legs are tired. Try to keep them nice and straight. Four, three, two, one. Oh, let it relax. All right, we're doing a side hip raise. This one we're gonna split half and half. So half on one side, half on the other. Try to do the hardest version you can, which is a full extension on your arm, full extension on those legs. Other ways off that elbow and knee. Remember, you're only going 30 seconds on each side. Have to be a nice, quick transition. Just keep them going. Shove that hip up nice and high. You should be feeling it on that oblique on the bottom side. Five seconds till you switch. Three, two, one. Switch sides. And back up. Like I said, you should be feeling it on that oblique on the bottom side. Got 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and let it relax. All right, I got a Russian twist next. So sitting on that tailbone, legs kicked out in front of you as far as you need them for balance. 
Get that back perfectly flat, arms up in front of that chest. Lean back and rotate. This one's gonna be hard to get through a full minute on. Just do as best you can. If you start getting too tired, you can always sit straight up and down and rotate. But try to keep at least a little bit of an angle. Arms straight out in front of your chest. If you wanna make this one harder, I'll lean back more or grab a weight and hold it in front of your chest. Oh man. Just keep them going. Again, go to your happy place. Just don't think about how much those muscles are screaming at you. Just make them keep working. 20 seconds left. Oh man. Again, if you also want to make it harder, you can also lift those legs up off the ground. Just keep that back flat. Oh, almost done. Five, four, three, two, one. Let it relax. Just one more to go through and we're done. This is gonna be just a traditional crunch. Flat on your back. Knees about a 90 degree angle, feet flat against the ground. Hands behind your head. Keep those elbows out of your field of vision. And start it, crunch up, back down, a little bit of a hover, right back up. Keep those abs nice and tight the entire time. As much range of motion as you can muster. Keep those lungs open, elbows back, they're gonna keep trying to creep forward on you. I know those abs are burning, but keep pushing through it. The more they burn this time, the easier it's gonna be next time. We're well over halfway. There's a quarter left. Oh yeah, yeah, this burns. Let's keep it going. Almost done. Five, four, three, two, one. And let her relax nice and slow. Let those lactic acid stuff piles in your muscle tissue, just nice and slow, dissolve and go back, get metabolized and go away. Just keep those lungs open, just let it relax. All right, we did a pretty a rough routine today, so make sure you do some kind of cool down, let that heart rate drop down nice and slow, make sure you get a good stretch in, making sure you really, really give your body as much of a chance as possible to not be sore the next day. The more of a warm up you focus on, the easier it's gonna be for you the next day as far as soreness goes. So definitely take your time. Other than that, this workout is complete. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.